Cemetery number three. Statue to uh, Mother Teresa. So here we are folks in cemetery number three, Louisiana cemetery number three, full of all these crypts. A bit like Greyfriars in Scotland, but a heck of a lot cleaner. See we've got familial vaults there, 12 people interred. Amazing. Also a story about Nicolas Cage, he's in cemetery, uh, well he has a plot in cemetery number one, the world famous pyramid. Yeah, Nick Cage has got a plot in Cemetery Number One. Um, it's a shame we're not visiting that one to see it. He's got a pyramid, so eventually when he snuffs it, he's going to be into it there. But this is just incredible. place in New Orleans in the middle of the park, what are you thinking? Yo, I tell you what, it's an experience, eh? Really, really good. And this, tell them about it, because oh, it's, no. it's remarkable. So, right, to give you a shot on that, the best way to describe them, if you haven't tried them for yourself, is like really fresh donuts, no filling in them, just covered and covered in sugar. As you can see, we've made quite a mess. So if you like messy food, it's definitely one for you. But yeah, it's a nice little touch, isn't it? Yeah, very, very enjoyable. And it's just nice to have something of the local, you know, something that's unique to, to New Orleans. So yeah, yeah, good vibes. Good chill. coffee too. Yeah, chill vibes. Now we're on a little bit of a break before we continue with the rest of our city tour. So stay tuned for more. Graveside service back here, weather got very bad, 35, 40 mile an hour winds, 13 foot of water. It was a hurricane, no weather channel back They'll leave that corn laying there. They need to go with the marshmallow. Here you go, buddy. The northwestern wind, it takes the water out of here. All these waterways connect to Lake Pontchartrain, which connect to Lake Barn, connects to the Gulf of Mexico. It's coming back down here. He's awesome there. They're trying to get away from them. They're all blue, spirit of Julia Brown. Story I was told, you come back at midnight, knock on her graveside, she'll speak back to you. Play that up to y'all. Speaks to me, I may need a new job. <laughs> <laughs> now as we turn the corner up here to the right, we're going to see a little cabin. Alligators don't heat unless their body temperature is above 70 degrees. The 
marshmallows back in our herd, it dissolves. That's a baby they can't eat meat when it's cold. So we don't feed them chicken until it warms up. across their back that's called scoots. This bony plate with blood vessels runs all over their body. Acts as a solar panel as they allow out the sun it warms up their body. They have to warm up to digest their food. They're cold-blooded animals and that's the way they warm their body. They also have a type of food using them as a tool by the end of the day and it's impossible to tell them. They're all gone. They're too busy. 